Hey, hey, brilliant coders. I'm Cheyenne, your host for Code Along, developing an obby in Roblox, brought to you by Black Girls Code. In this video series, we will be working together to learn how to create an epic <laughs> multi-level obby in Roblox that everybody's gonna wanna play. I know you may just wanna jump into developing the game, trust me, I do too, but it's super important that we take the time to plan out our game. Like, what kind of obby are we going to build? And wait, what even is an obby anyway? If you are new to the world of Roblox, an obby is simply a game made of obstacle courses that you need to get through in order to win. And we all wanna be winners here, okay? I know that's right. Game developers normally spend hours brainstorming. What will the characters, the story, and the design be? Storyboarding is a step used by most game developers, and since I'm a game developer, and you're a game developer, let's not skip this step. Storyboarding your game involves creating a collection of cards or boards that tells your game's story. Movie and TV directors often use storyboarding as a way to plan out their film sequences and to include important details about characters, props, costumes, and sets. Storyboarding in video games are not much different. Similarly, we can use the cards to depict your game's scenes in a logical order. You can also use the storyboard to plan your game's characters, plot points, gameplay functionality, character actions, game items, and much, much more. Great. Now all I need is an idea. Hmm. Okay, so I know I want to build an obby, and that's pretty much all I know. Okay, all right, let me take a deep breath. Mm. That was good. Sometimes, when I want to get a good idea, I do things that calm me and clear my mind. Maybe I should go for a walk or take a shower. One time, I got an idea for a winning science project in there. Maybe I'll scroll on social media or, or play a video game. Playing a video game might help in this instance because I often get game ideas by thinking about what I love or would want to improve in other video games. Okay, so BRB. <sighs> All right. Sorry I was gone for so long, but I think I have it. After my walk, social media scroll, and video game session, I've decided that my game will be a futuristic obby. So let's get started. Before I dive into storyboarding all my ideas about a futuristic obby, I want to make sure my storyboard is all prepped and ready to go. For my game storyboard, I am going to use Canva. Canva is a free graphic design tool that people all over the world use. Okay. To get started, we go to www.canva.com and simply sign up for an account. Once you're in, in the search bar, simply type storyboard. Then a variety of templates are gonna show up. On the left-hand side, I'm going to apply the free filter because your girl is on a budget. Okay, queen. I know you know what I'm talking about. I am going to choose this template. I like how it allows me to include both images and text, so I can jot down my vision and notes all in one. Now that I'm in, I can see my storyboard template to the right and a variety of tools I can use on the left to edit and make it more of my vibe. I'm going to choose the second page of my storyboard template to start working in since it's more of a blank slate. Now, we're truly ready to start building our storyboard. While I was on my break, I scrolled through social media and saw so many posts about the state of our world which made me overwhelmed. But there were also some posts encouraging me to get involved and to help, so I was also hopeful. Generally, I was feeling a lot. I mean, hashtag mood, <laughs> am I right? I decided I wanted to make an obby that both acknowledged the problems of the present and also the hope for the future. I thought it would be awesome to build an obby that takes the player through the world of today into a better, cleaner, more beautiful future of tomorrow. Now. What do you imagine the future to be? Is it a world full of robots and artificial intelligence? Then your obby would probably have high-tech robots and some awesome futuristic obstacles. Or perhaps you imagine a world free of violence that's filled with love and with hope. Then your obby might be filled with bright colors and rainbows. 
I picture the future to be a place where humans have worked to reverse climate change. I imagine that there will be less pollution, more lush forests, and cleaner oceans. I mean, when I dream, I dream big. <clears throat> anyway. To reflect that it will be a long and sometimes difficult journey ahead to get to a better future, I want the player to navigate through different levels that get harder and harder. At the end of my obby, I want to celebrate the winners on a platform that displays the beauty of our new world. Let's start getting some of these ideas down. To start, I know I want my obby to be six levels. I mean, I'm just starting out on this whole game development wave, so I definitely don't want to overwhelm myself. For level one, I think I want the player to start in a very polluted city. <laughs> All the parts of my obby will look dark, gray, and black to represent the many high-rise buildings in the city, as well as the smog. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> For now, I'm just going to name this level the polluted city. I know, not too creative, but we'll work on the names later. Okay, so level one is planned. We've got our first addition to the storyboard, period. For level two, I am thinking I want the player to go through a forest that has suffered from deforestation. Right now, it's the unfortunate truth that forests are being cut down for human needs, causing animals to lose their habitats. I'll call this level the scarce forest. I picture it as having scattered trees, fallen logs, and tons of human construction tools laying around. I promise it will get better. We will literally code it to be. Moving on to level three. For this level, I want to address one of the biggest problems in today's world, our water. I imagine this level of having brownish green ocean water ugh, and melting icebergs. Again, I know it's a little sad, but just go with it for now. I'll call this level the contaminated ocean. Now it's time to change the narrative. For level four, I'm going to take the player through a city again, but this time the obstacles will be pedestrians and trees rather than cars and ugly city buildings. I'll add a blue sky now instead of the smoggy, dirty sky of level one. I'll call this level the city of the future. I know, I know, my name conventions are just so creative. And now for level five, I'm going to take the player back through the forest. But this time it will be a lush rainforest where the player will need to watch out for all the living species along their path. I'll call this level the return of the wild. Finally, we are at level six where the player will traverse the ocean, except this time it will be a beautiful blue ocean with a horizon colored sky. The obstacle course will be filled with beautiful corals and wonderful aquatic creatures. For now, I'll name this level the ocean blue. And done. I told you it was all gonna get better. I did it, you did it, we did it. Together, we sketched out ideas for a futuristic obby. And remember, these are just initial ideas. If I get any more random sparks of genius, I'll be sure to add more to my storyboard. And of course, my game. I can't wait for you all to join me for our next video, where I'll show you how to get started in the Roblox Creator Studio so you can build a basic obby. Until next time, game on, my coding fam.